In the grim darkness of the far future, there is only war. Well, I mean, there's war, but there's also the awesome prize giveaways. As this week, the VIP Painting Commission series continues with Vashtor the Archiphane. Welcome to episode four. Let's go. Previously on VIP Commission. If you're just discovering the channel, then welcome. And also, where have you been? But here's a snapshot on what you've missed so far that you can go back later on and catch up on. In episode one, we designed, built, and painted our own custom Death Watch Space Marines captain to lead Arjak's forces. The Death Watch might be hibernating for the rest of the edition, but this guy will still happily bring the hammer down on some Xenos. Episode two, we traveled back 10,000 years and I attempted to paint my first ever bust. This being the Primarch, whose name is synonymous with heresy, War Master Horus Lupercal. Horus now sits on display on the other side of the world. Then in our latest episode, number three, Prince of Crows selected the iconic display, capturing Loken and Abaddon going to fisticuffs, a fiddly forge world diorama, which somehow survived its journey through the warp, also known as our postage system, to arrive safely. The exciting news that I have for you today is that thanks to the support and interest from the community, the series now has a big ticket sponsor. Proxy Wargaming Australia has decided that you guys and girls need to be spoiled even more and they're going to be throwing in a whole host of goodies. Vashtor, man, just chill. Vashtor, just be calm. Give me like 10 more seconds. Sorry about him. I'll tell you how you can come be a part of this and also have some models painted for you later on during the video. But for now, now we begin. This month's winner is our community member Fells with his entry of a squad of Chaos Terminators who look amazing, but also shout out to your wife for that awesome photo. Fells wanted to make the most of this opportunity and elected to go for a centerpiece character for his army. Thanks for trusting me with that, mate. Looking back, I probably would have been a bit sad if you asked me just to knock out a squad of 10 cultists for you. So many cool options, but you've seen the thumbnail. Fells picked out the amazing model of eggs, bacon, and hash tour the Archiphane. I enjoy customizing models, but I think this one looks unreal and it doesn't feel like a common model that we're used to seeing everywhere. So I don't think the model itself needs anything special, but I might play around with a unique base a little later on. I'm thinking ahead to colors already because this helps me to work out the sub-assembly strategy and also what paint primers I will use. Fells really likes the box art, but also has given me the freedom to move the goalposts. I tend to agree though. I would likely run with these types of colors anyway, but because his current Chaos Marines have that bright trim, I think I want Paul Monitor Sash Tor the Archiphane skin to be vibrant instead of a sickly pale. No airbrush at all today. I'd like to tell you that's by chance, but it's probably more likely because I don't want to hear from all the painting purists that give me grief in the comments when I use one. I doubt I'm still safe. Maybe now that I'm using only brushes, the finger painting purists are going to be all up in my grill. I've begun with his skin because these areas are deeper on the model. What I mean by that is picture if everything else was already painted and then I'm trying to reach down in there with my brush, then I'm likely to accidentally bump against these areas and cause splotches on my pretty areas. So my advice is to start from the lower spots and work your way out. You'll see me now working through some steps on painting Vashtor's skin. And whilst I do that, how about I tell you a little about Vashtor and what makes him such an interesting character in the Warhammer 40k universe. Vashtor the Archiphane is a new character introduced to Warhammer 40k and he is powerful and enigmatic demon prince of the chaos god of change, Zinch. Vashtor was once a human, a sorcerer of considerable power. His hunger for knowledge and mastery over the arcane arts was insatiable. In his quest for power, he delved into forbidden sorceries and dark rituals, which eventually led to his transformation into a demon prince. As a demon prince, Vashtor gained immense power and a form that was both awe-inspiring and grotesque. He became a creature that embodied the mutable and ever-changing nature of Zinch. 
Vashtor's presence in the Warhammer 40,000 universe adds a new layer of intrigue and threat. His manipulations and schemes create ripples throughout the galaxy, influencing events and orchestrating conflicts from behind the scenes. He's a character who embodies the ever-shifting nature of Zinch, making him a unique and dangerous adversary for the forces of the Imperium. Now this is the part of the video where I get to tell you about the amazing team that are supporting it and also the cool gifts that they're throwing in just to make the series even more special for you and I. Proxy Wargaming is a company in Australia run by two brothers which have a genuine passion for the hobby. Their goal is to provide us with alternative minis for our tabletop games. They print in high quality resin and then ship them out to you. They have an extensive range of models in 10mm, 28mm, fantasy, sci-fi, fantasy football, space fleets, you name it. Oh, and they also custom print for you, which is a service I love. For years I didn't have any 3D printers, and instead I can send them files that I've purchased, and they print and then post them out to me. So Fells collects all things corrupted and heretical, so Proxy Wargaming have done a little light stalking to find some models that will look amazing on the tabletop for him. On their way to you Fells are a 10 man squad of Oathbreakers, a 10 man squad of Harbingers and a selection of hero characters including this amazing model, the Butcher. Wow, terrifying. And with all these fancy new exciting models, well, you're going to need some paint. And Proxy Wargaming are throwing in 17 different bottles of paint that are chaos themed and all from Green Stuff World. Thank you so much to Proxy Wargaming for helping to make this giveaway even more special and huge with all the extra prizes. And for the viewers, my pitch to you guys is that I don't put mid-roll ads in the videos and instead we look to support the businesses that support the hobby. So, I'll add a link below to their website. It will mean the world to me if you jump across and support them. And also, you can find them on social media on Instagram and Facebook to give them a follow and tell them I said hi. Soon, there will be a lot darker metallic colours, but the model will continue to look bright at this stage as I shift across to painting the bone-coloured armour panels of Super Smash Tour the Archifane. At first glance with the box art, I think, oh yeah, just bone-coloured armour panels again. But, as I have a closer look, he has a very grimy yellow stain to his panels. For this, I'm going to add in a step early on where I wash them with a yellow. Once they've dried, I can head back to my bone colours and reintroduce some layers and highlights. You will have seen in my recent videos how I take contrast paints, add medium and thin them down to create some nice glazes to add a little colour gradient to weathered panels. I use the same strategy here so the parts of his armour that are angled downwards can shift into a dark colour and look more realistic. As we move into the metallic areas now, know that through the magic of editing, I can pretend that this was quick and painless, but you should know that with some models like, do you take cash tour the Archifane here, blocking out all the metallic sections on 50% of this fiddly spiky model takes time. I've put hard work in already, so I don't want to rush and make mistakes. I accept that this will take time and this is a perfect stage of the model to hang out and paint alongside the kids or after dinner just hunker down watching a TV show and chip away at this with breaks every now and then to stay fresh. But this is YouTube. I do have the magic of editing. BAM! Metallic's done! How easy was that? I've decided that I want the rest of the areas base coated so that I feel as though I'm making ground on the project so I block out the blacks and any other small areas remaining. I wash the golds with a red brown wash and the gun metals with a black. Nothing there that you haven't seen before but take a look at this. On GW's model we can see that the bronze gold panels back here transition into much darker colour as they rise. When I began painting, this is something that I would just instinctively overlook. But now, I look for simple ways that we can replicate it for our models. I've created a mix of dark brown and black contrast paints, and I'm dragging this back along the mechanical wings and pushing the paint into the half that I want to be darker. It's basic, 
but a few coats of this and we should get a cheeky subtle effect with limited time that's been invested. Corporate Mike will be proud. We are doing an awesome job and our model is coming to life. But stay with me because we have the most exciting parts to come. We have weathering, some chaotic glowing, a thematic base. That's what I can think of for now. But whilst I'm working through these parts, I have a challenge for you. How about you let me know down below that if you were to win the competition and I was to paint any model and post it across the world to you, what would it be and why? Now special points again, if you don't just pick the largest and most expensive model, have a really good think about what would be exciting and special to you to have sitting on your shelf. Some edge highlights are going on to make the metal pop, but this is chaos we are talking about. So it can be bright in some areas, but I think it should be still weathered in others. On goes a brown wash to reflect the neglect that this mechanical parts would get. And then I can add some excitement again with a thin down bright orange to act as rust. The easy to achieve verdigris patina effect is back by first putting down some bright blue contrast paint and then once dry, I'm coming back in over the top with small additions of a brighter thin down blue. Speaking of bright, DoorDash Tor the Arcafane has these chaotic glowing energy sections to help showcase his incredible power. The furnaces, hammer and eyes are all shining bright with corruption and I think I know of a way we can capture this. Dark red is going on first and my theory over the next couple of paints is that I want to keep some black showing and in a short space I want to drag us all the way from that black into a bright orange. That sounds like a roller coaster of colours, but really I only use the black, dark red, a red, and then the orange. By the time I finish each section, the first step is usually dry and I can move straight into my next colour. I'm painting less and less each time and I'm retreating towards the point that I want to be the brightest, like the centre of the hammer's face or the bottom of each furnace. I'm really liking this and I'll show you how it looks when the orange dries, but I want to jump across and show you a cool thematic base that I think you'll look good standing atop of. I'm actually going to create two bases for our model. I'll paint the standard one that comes with the kit, but I'll also show you this 80mm round base that I found on Mezgeik's website. This sunken city base is bursting with character and having these large metal sections and also an organic presence rupturing through the floor, I think that we will have room to manoeuvre with the colours of our model also being the colours that feature on the base. The steps for painting this area are the same for how I painted Vashtor with only a few different elements. I go hard with some dirty down rust to make a deeper, darker, angry rust on the panels and at the very end I decide to break out some UV drying resin and add a couple of splotches to the sunken areas as water texture. I'm worried that when I post this overseas that maybe the resin will uncure, if that's a word, and go sticky or something. So I'm not going to glue the model down and I'll wrap them all separately and this also means that fells, you can select your favourite of the bases and use that. So the disclaimer, here you'll see a couple of bits of blue poster tack that I've used just to keep his mechanical wings on and to stick him to the base, all of which come apart when it's time for ease of postage. But enough about that, it is time to show you Vashtor the Archifane, Demon Prince of Chaos, painted for Fells. Welcome back! So how do you come and be a part of all of this and score your own amazing parcel of prizes? Well, every second month in our Discord we hold a painting competition. You don't need to be the best painter so don't worry, you simply select something that you'd like to paint from your backlog and then you have a month to paint it. 
Once completed, that's it, you've entered the draw. At the end of the month, we spin the wheel and a community member's name is chosen at random. Then you get to use me as your own personal commission artist, pick something out and I'll paint it and post it to the other side of the world for you. So what's the catch? Oh, well, none really. The Discord is free to join. I'll buy the model, paint it and pay for the postage over to you. And Proxy Wargaming are throwing in these incredible bonuses as well. The catch is that you come be a member of our Discord and hang out. There's around a hundred of us in there already, and the whole theme and narrative behind it is encouragement and support. If that sounds like the sort of place that you'd like to hang out for your hobby, click the link, come introduce yourself. I'll be there ready to say hi and to find out what is on your painting desk this week. Thanks so much for hanging out with me this week. If you like the video, you know what to do, but here is my favorite section in the video, which is where we get to showcase the amazing entries from each of our community members. We have a wide range of experience levels with each of these artists, but the one thing they all have in common is they are a part of the amazing community that means so much to me. Honestly guys, thank you so much. Now let's check out your awesome models.